Thank you if you've told me that you missed last week's jam. To be honest, I've had a few things in rapid succession and have had to plan ahead sometimes and pre-record the jam. And last week I didn't even manage to do that and had to skip it. During that time, I can't remember what made me think of the flower duet or what made me wonder how it would sound in a lounge jazz style but I decided that it would work very well. It's a piece I know well from the brass band world, and I've played it many times. If you don't listen to Classic FM, then you'll still know it from various adverts. As it becomes easier to just ask a computer to produce this stuff, I think it's increasingly important to show your working and be clear about exactly what you've done and what you haven't done, and give credit to others where it's due. I've made it easy to skip to the music if you just want to hear that. The music is by Delibes from his opera Lacme. The arrangement I've referred to the most is this one for two flutes, piano and cello by Marcia. I've transposed that so that I can play it on cornet. It's fairly short and sweet. It's missing an introduction and a fairly ponderous middle section. I decided to play this as a solo and use this. I bought this Harmon Mute a long time ago at a show and haven't used it much. It's worth its weight in gold though because it's a Harmon Mute that stays in (laughs) and if you play trumpet or cornet you'll know what I'm talking about. I love the blue and white styling and it's nice to get some use out of it. So I've moved the second duet part, which is a counter melody, to one hand of the piano, which I've switched to suitcase electric piano for a bit of that Murph and the Magic Tones uh, magic. The score had the bass line on cello, which I've moved to upright bass. I sometimes play drums using a keyboard or enter notes with a mouse on a MIDI track, but this time, as I sometimes do, I've used Logic Pro's drummer. I decided to add a guitar. I found another arrangement with guitar chords by Braden Medbury, which just happens to be in the same key that I changed the first one to. This part is very low in the mix, just about audible. And, of course, I've played the melody and recorded that as an audio track, although not in a single take. So, without further ado, here's a short arrangement of the flower duet, played solo in a lounge style. Once again, thank you very much for watching.